Again, there's another reaction coming in from the coalition of aggrieved customers of these collapsed fund management companies. They have threatened to embark on a demonstration following what they describe as unfair execution of government's bailouts. And my colleague, George Queeny, has been speaking with them. The aggrieved customers said they can no longer tolerate the lukewarm attitude of the Securities and Asian Commission in the handling of government bailouts for customers. Customers of Gold Coast Fund Management say they feel sidelined in the disbursement of the package, though they form majority of affected customers. Although Black Shield Capital Management Limited, formerly Gold Coast Fund Management Limited, is in call to challenge the revocation of its licence, the coalition says that does not run the exclusion of customers in the bailout as indicated by the Securities and Asian Commission. And According to the coalition, some reasons given by SEC for the exclusion are that management failed to grant SEC access to their customer database and records to ensure the validation of customers' claims as filed and this the coalition finds bizarre. The coalition has therefore served notice to embark on a demonstration if their grievances are not addressed. As we speak now, the court is on legal vacation and they will resume on the 8th of November. So are they telling us that if the court cases is going to take 100 years, should we wait for 100 years? Meanwhile, the basis for issuing the bailout is that it can prolong, the court cases can prolong, so the government should help us. Pensioners who form a high number of customers said they can no longer bear the ordeal they are going through. Nobody is there to help. It's only God I'm looking. So I place my prayer on Isaiah 37. When Hezekiah spread out the news that God should intervene, we are suffering. Our children are dying. I've lost two kids. 70-year-old pensioner Seth Wilson Entry said he lost his wife recently, attributing it to being cash-trapped to cater for his ailing wife. I've served this country for 44 years uh, from Ghana Coast Stores, Safe Switching Corporation and Minister of Health. My money, which is locked up, is my pension fund, the bulk of my pension fund. My wife fell ill and passed away on February 8th this year. I mean, uh, I had to borrow money to give her a private barrier. The funeral is still pending. Out of the 50 companies whose licenses remain revoked, three did not have any claims filed against them, leaving 47 companies against whom claims were filed by affected clients. The message from customers of defunct Gold Coast Fund Management is simple. They want the investment pay them as soon as possible because most of the customers who are pensioners are really struggling. One thing is for sure, the non-payment or swift payment of their investments will inform their decision in the upcoming general elections. Josh Quinn in TV3 News, Ebenezer Presby Hall, Accra. So that is